Hello and welcome everyone, Benny from BennyBreak702 here, same handle as on IG and on eBay. Today is week four of our tops, or sorry, 1987 build a set, where if you don't know, we're going to tell you. Well, first of all, they cost 40 cents back then, but we picked three packs and our goal is to build a set. So we're going to see how long this takes. I don't know how long it's gonna take. Um, I don't remember last time I was trying to build a set, so this is gonna be really fun for me. And the reason why 1987 tops, if you have not uh, seen any other series or any other part of the series, um, is this is the one that started it all for me. So I know I sound like I'm like 15 years old. I am actually not. So I was six years old when these came out. Three packs today. Three is what we're gonna go for. So I got my easels, got my little buddies back there, got the wall of boxes. We are ready to rip. And just so everyone knows, I am not going to eat the gum. Um, first of all, it leaves a residue. It leaves a stain mark. And most of the time, this one's actually a pretty good sample. Nope, you got a little mold mildew right there. I don't know if that's, that's not catching on the camera. Trust me, there's mold and mildew there. Even if I take it away a little bit more. Here you go. So it's disgusting. Um, all right, so here we go. This is week four. So far we have zero duplicates. I don't know how we're able to go four weeks or th first three weeks without a duplicate. So let's keep it going. Here we go. First card is a trip for four to the 1988 spring training. Oh, we didn't smell it yet. Mmm, smells like a duck hunt. I said a duck hunt. It's a video game. I didn't say anything else. Although it does sound like I said something else if you say it fast enough. First card is Greg Gross. Then we got Mike Mark Eichhorn with a big old thing of chew in his mouth. Oh my goodness. Uh, Kenny Landro. Bo Jackson! We pulled the bow! There we go. We got the bow. That's awesome. Bob McClure. No relation to Troy McClure from The Simpsons. Rest in peace. Mike Brown. Uh, we got Tigers leaders. And the cool part about these cards is it tells you the team stats. Uh, so in 86, Alan Trammell basically led the team in everything except the things that uh, Evans, Coles, and or two, uh, Daryl Darnell and Kirk led. And then Jack Morris dominated pitching. Andre Thornton. Roger Clemens with the uh, record breaker. I believe this is the most strike. I think this is a 20 strikeout game. Yes, 20 strikeout game. He was the MVP and Cy Young in 86 for the AL. Uh, Hal Lanier. Dusty Baker. This is playing Dusty. This is not um, managing Dusty. So right there, he had over 1,000 RBIs in his career. He had 278, 242 homers. Because of his managerial career, we'll put that up there. Hall of Famer Rock Tim Raines. Boom. Right there. Expos. Yes. Expo cards. These guys actually did play back then. Ozzie Guillen. He was a solid shortstop. Was a manager for a little bit. Uh, Jerry Narone. Gino Petarelli. Tom New Nyden Fuhr. Nyden not going to be here anymore. Bill Schroeder to end that pack. So that's pack one. We got pack two here. This one is this one's melting. Um, this one just feels different. Ugh, yeah, that card is or that gum is on there. Look at that residue. That's disgusting. Oh man, God, I love the '80s. All right, um, let's put all these this right way. Bruce Suter. I think he's a Hall of Famer. If not, he should be. He's a pretty solid closer back in the day. We'll put him up. We'll cover Dusty. Sorry, Dusty. Um, we got Alan Anderson. Alan Anderson was a legit pitcher, and I believe he was out of the game at age 28, although he looks like he was 46 when he uh, retired from the Twins uh, right here. So I'm a Twins fan. Kirby was my guy back then when I moved to San Diego, and then all of a sudden Tony was my guy back then. So I have not pulled a Tony or a Kirby yet, so kind of pissed about that. Hopefully I had the pen soon. Kirby at 328 that year. Um, kind of a weird picture with Laudner, and I don't know who that is. Is that Viola? And it looks like Viola. Look at the old stirrups. God, I miss the 80s. Tracy Jones, who? Tracy Jones. 
Uh, Craig Lefferts. Craig Lefferts is famous for running out of the bullpen, going straight to the mound every single time. I never understood as a kid. I was like, isn't he tiring himself out? I got to meet him one time, and he was one of the nicest people I ever met. He autographed an old uh, upper deck card for me. Jorge Orta. Jamie Moyer. This was when he was only 74 years old. As people know, he is 813 years old. So Jamie Moyer right there. And it is a rookie card. So this card is ancient. Uh, Dwayne Ward. We got the Brewers. This is probably a lot of Molitor and, and uh, Robin Yount. Yep. Oh, Rob Deere. Uh, Teddy Hagera. Hagera was, was the guy in Milwaukee. And back then, the Brewers were in the American League and the Astros were in the National League. Uh, Lan Matazuzek. It's fun to say. Tommy Lasorda. There we go. Ultra Slim Fast. Rick Rushel, who gave up the infamous home run to Bo Jackson in the 88 All-Star Game. Chuck Tanner. Ben Ogilvie, who made an appearance on a Peanuts um, comic. Doug Corbett. And Greg Gagne. If there was a shortstop that I would clone defensively, Greg Gagne is that guy. He was a solid glove. Had a good arm. Not the best bat, but it was kind of clutch, though. And then Bill Dorn to end it. He's the one who has all, all the gum junk in the back. So here is the last pack magic. And that gum is disgusting. <clears throat> Man. All right, here we go. Okay, cool. Tim Flannery, who plays the guitar. I think he was first base coach or bench coach back in the day. Uh, might have been third base coach. Uh, Jose Cruz, the father of Jose Cruz Jr., who played for a little bit. Mickey Brantley, the old M's Mariners logo, kind of like the Maserati-ish type of look. Uh, Frank DePino, Max Venable, a I believe he's the son or the father of Will Venable. And what is weird is a lot of these on the dates have nothing to do with the player. Like this one mentions Mike Witt's perfect game, and it doesn't mention anything about the player. It's kind of weird. Phil Necro, right there. We got Jackie Gutierrez. I dated a Jackie Gutierrez. Was not she did not look like that. Todd Worrell, a uh, really good reliever back in the day with the rookie cup. Tom Pasoric. Sammy Stewart, who has one hell of a unibrow. That is that is Anthony Davis style right there with a chew. This might be my favorite picture of all of them. Uh, then we got Alfredo Griffin. We got Dave Stapleton. Sid Bream, one of the slowest runners of all time, scored on a uh, game-winning hit against the Pirates in the playoffs. Lonnie Smith, who got faked out in the 91 World Series. Uh, Raphael Belliard, who held the record, which was later broken by, I believe, Al Newman for the most at-bats without a home run. Charlie Huff, the knuckleballer, who started the Marlins organization, um, uh, their first game. And I believe he struck out the side in the first inning, or at least he got out of it without any hits. And last but not least is Mr. 4256 himself, Pete Rose, who... Still gambles on baseball to this day. Yes, he still gambles. So Pete Rose right there with the... Uh, oh, that is disgusting gum mark right there. Uh, this card is, is from his... This has all his stats. So 4256 is on the back, which is actually kind of cool. Um, he's actually a really nice guy. I am in the camp of not a Hall of Famer, nothing personal. I actually told him that to his face one time. Um, he was waiting for his girlfriend in the dressing room. I was waiting for my girlfriend I was dating at the time in the dressing room. It was not Jackie Gutierrez. And he asked me, he goes, do you think I belong in the Hall of Fame? I was like, Pete, I love you, but you're the one who thought of the um, the punishment, so you have to live up to it. And he goes, that's fair, that's fair. And he was actually really cool about it. He spoke for like 10, 15 minutes about baseball. Outstanding human. He all the fame human being. Not a Hall of Famer due to uh, his actions. So that's just my two cents. I know it's not worth anything. But anyway, we end with Pete Rose. That's kind of cool. So a little recap. We pulled the Bo Jackson card right there. I love that card. I'm putting that off to the side. Uh, we got a Roger Clemens record breaker for 86, which is the 20 strikeout game. Pete Rose, you're, I went way too in depth with. 
uh, Bruce Suter. Mr. Solid Closer. I think he has Splitter. Is that right? Bruce is an avid fisherman and hunter. He and his wife have three sons, Joshua, Chad, and Ben. By the way, no relation. Uh, Dusty Baker right there and Tim Rock Reigns to finish it. So not bad. This was a good, this was a good rip. Um, took way longer than I thought. I think the Pete Rose story kind of took a little bit of time, but hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. So next week, every Sunday, until we build the set, we are going to be ripping three packs of 1987 tops. If you like this video, awesome. Thank you. And like I said, tune in next week for week number five. I hope everybody has a great day. Thanks.